Well, I've got more problems with my lights. Now, if you remember a few videos back, I decided I'd experiment with making a switch mode supply for the lights. Well, that never really got developed any further. It never actually got used because I found a much better solution. If we look all the way up here, you can see a Nintendo Wii U power supply. Power brick, whatever you want to call it. Which is what's been used to power the lights. Yep. This is the only room in the entire world where the power supply for the lights is made by Nintendo. Trouble is with this power supply is it's a 15 volt power supply and the lights require 12 volts. So what I did was I got a couple of my clip leads here. And because these use steel wire instead of copper wire, they have just enough resistance to drop that voltage down to 12 volts. And the lights are absolutely fine from that. Recently, these lights have been flickering. Now, I thought maybe the main supply was a little bit, you know, because of the weather going a little bit bad, but none of the other lights are flickering, it's just these ones. I thought maybe, maybe, maybe I need to replace a few components in there, but shouldn't really need that yet. Anyway, when I got all the wiring down, I seem to be having a very hard time focusing on this. It's focusing on the wall rather than what's right in front of it, but maybe you can see they're very charred. There's charring right there and uh, right there and also on the other side. If the camera would actually focus on what it's supposed to be focusing on. Excuse me a minute, let me just... So let's have a look at that yellow clip lead. This side isn't so bad, I might be able to see just a very slight beginnings of charring, but this one has been hit pretty bad. Something definitely got very hot in there. So I did a little measuring of the, um, so I connected these two end to end and measured the impedance and resistance rather. Comes out to a staggering 8 ohms approximately. Of course I cannot say exactly how accurate that is, but really? Each of these wires is about four ohms. So I'm gonna have to see if I can find a resistor of the same resistance. Speaking of things that I may never find, this thing tells me that the battery's low. So I take the back off, thinking that maybe it just takes a couple of double A's or maybe even a nine volt. And this is what I find inside. A little tiny 12 volt battery. Where the hell am I supposed to get one of those? Well, okay. So I've taken the clip ends off these clip leads. I'm just giving this a test run like this. So, the negative is this big, thick black wire. And the positive is the clip leads. And yeah, they're, they're getting pretty warm. But nothing that I would call dangerously hot. Yeah, so I think the main problem with this was basically just, uh, you know, contact resistance, you know, where the wire connects to the metal. Quite high resistance there, making this get really hot and charred. And I've had this running for about five minutes now, and I've seen no sign of any flicker, so... I think we can say the power supply is still good. Now I've just got to work out what to do with all of this. So I reckon what happened with these is, basically, contact resistance. So, where the wire met the metal wasn't a very good connection, which had a lot of resistance, and of course that would make it get very hot, and, well, resulting in this. Connection just gets worse and worse and worse, the lights don't connect so good, causing them to flicker, and, well, the rest is basically history. Now I don't have to watch YouTube in the dark. Now I don't have to work on my scripts in the dark. Now I don't have to work on my drawings in the dark. Now I don't have to work on my music in the dark. And now I don't need to work on my videos in the dark. And I no longer have to play my games in the dark. And I no longer have to do my videos in the dark. Supposed to just not hit those when you can't even aim? Ah, 
and I don't have to play my games in the dark anymore. <laughs>